Here, this picture stands for the subject of resolution, I started to mention before. And now we are turning from standard definition to high definition. <coughs> In 20 years, standard definition we had the last 30 years uh, will look, will seem like aquarelle to people. So it's always our brain who makes, even if it's not sharp, a sharp picture of it. We fill in the, the missing information. And, uh, for some years I was uh, working on how to disturb the, mach disturb the machines because I'm convinced that uh, the machines, when you disturb them, that they bring similar pictures to the pictures we have in our minds when we are disturbed. When there is too much or too little wanted of us, <coughs> then we have psychosomatic problems, and the machines also have psychosomatic problems, but in that, the truth can lay. When we have uh, a problem, then often it's a decision in our life we should take and we don't dare. Is the same. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is a digital mistake. There's a, um, these are analog mistakes, which uh, have much more beauty and truth in it. In digital, the problem is if something goes wrong, then the whole picture falls down. Here again, uh, Utrecht uh, is the Leo Cachet room. Um, they have a lot of uh, interior design and furniture. And in this room, uh, uh, I was allowed or able to do the windows. <laughs> so in the windows, you see a, a, a disturbed picture. And the wall is all gold. It's a beautiful room. And yeah. uh, this I like to show because it was a step before this exhibition or on it's uh, also from 2000, 2000, 2001, uh, with, with curtains, normal curtains in different patterns, and the uh, projection were moving. Like this thing would then go up, it's two mirrors, it's taken from a disco lamp and the projector onto the mirrors and then zzz, that the, the image goes around and, and the, when the image is moving it's also a research about perspective if the image goes down and then up and when we are in the same angle of the moving pictures, we always see it square. When we go out of the angle of the projector, then we see it distorted. And that's uh, also the case psychologically, that often when we have a problem, it's only a question on, of which angle we see it. Mostly we see uh, a, a problem distorted, and that's why we have friends uh, to tell us that we see something <laughs> Distorted. Here is a, a work called The Room, where um, I blow up the furniture in double size, eight times the volumes, and the monitor is normal size. And when we watch TV, often the reality shrinks, and 
I try to do the opposite. Um, I'm not only critical to TV because that's also the university of all my visitors. I can build on their knowledge, visual knowledge, um, and in the same moment I treat the living, all the living rooms together in the world is the biggest video installation. That's also another possibility to take the TV and just use it as a lamp and then under the TV again dancing and discussions and can happen. I, in the, now the TV I also mean the computer, the net, or just this box we ha have to head in. This installation is a mixture between watching TV together. Uh, in a small group, and the projector is in the peak, and then is a projection uh, screen, like in a cinema, like the situation now when a group is focused in one direction. That's the cinema type, and it has also some interesting things. But what I found out here, that people, when the body is not anymore visible, they start much easier to talk to each other. So some friendships started in that. Uh, <laughs> um, and on the other side, you can see how brutally how aggressive the view can be when we scan each other or we almost have no cap capacity to look, look at something without judging. We are always judging, but the whole brain is based on that. When we see, when you see me, then the brain makes, ah, it's not her, it's not him, it's not her, so it must be her. <laughs> 